work on a guard pull, okay? We're gonna control double collar grip, okay? So sometimes you can grab a collar sleeve, but the double collar grip is good because it's harder for him, a little harder for him to take you down. So let's say a very good, good judo fighter, right? Or a wrestler, so this is easier for you to stop. So use your knuckles right on the collarbone right here, right below the collarbone. Don't grab too high because then he can pop your elbow up and then shoot a single leg or double leg, okay? So grab low, put your foreheads together, okay? And then you work on pushing the collar down, okay? So pulling the collar down. Okay, we're here. So that way his legs are heavier, okay? So now I'm gonna pick a side to pull guard, okay? You don't have to jump with both legs at the same time. I'm gonna put one leg right outside of his hips, and the way I'm gonna pull guard is just like doing a pistol squat, right? So I'm gonna squat right here with one leg, okay? And usually when I pull like this, I know my opponent will come with the knee between my legs. And usually it's always the same side that you put the, the, the leg around his hips is the knee that keeps between the legs. Let's say if I go with my right leg first, right here, usually this leg will be leading forward, right? Hey, stop right here. I'm sorry for interrupting you watching this video. Uh, I have great news. Uh, you can watch Alatas BGG on demand right now, 100% free. You go on the weekly series, we have like pretty much courses every week about the techniques that we teach you at Atos headquarters. Go there right now in the description below, click on the link, and then you're gonna go straight forward to our weekly series category. And then right there, you're gonna click and then you're gonna watch the first class, 100% free, 100% free, okay? And please, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, okay, on our channel, and I appreciate that. Keep watching, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Us. <laughs> and when I pull, I, I pull with this leg first, but I have the intention to bring my opponent this way, okay? Because if I pull with this leg first and I bring it to the other side, it's, he's gonna pass my guard because this leg is it's a half second later than this leg, okay? So I say if I pull like this, look, you see? So he's gonna pass to that side. So I always have to pull in a way that pretty much like, you know when you do the arm bar, you go like this, right? It's kind of like I'm doing an armbar, but uh, more like to play guard, okay? And I'm searching for the lahiva on the other side. So this leg goes first, my right leg goes first. My second leg will be my de lahiva. And since my right leg goes first, I'll drag it to, towards the right, okay? It's gonna be like this. You see, so I'm blocking. So I avoid him from jumping to the other side. I'm facing this way. Notice that my, my right side is also facing this way, okay? You see? See that? Okay? So once I do that, I know the leg is gonna be within my legs. So I'm gonna play the lahivo. I control his pants. Then I'm gonna control, I'm gonna step my foot on the hip. Rolando can be standing or with the knee on the floor. Let's say in this case, he's with the knee on the floor. I'll push his thigh and I go to the single leg grip. When I go for the single leg, I can grab the cross side collar or the same side collar. Okay, and to be honest, the same, the same side collar is even better for you, okay? So now I'm gonna grab a cross collar right here with my right hand. I'm not gonna post my hand on the floor because if I do that, right, he can start like moving. So I make sure I put the weight on this arm that's on the floor while I'm extending his leg. And if your Rolando is, uh, let's say, standing up like this, it's the same thing. And I'll place my head right on his shoulder, okay? And now I'll wipe my, my legs outside, and then I'll come up like this. His leg can be outside or between my legs. Things that you have to think about. If it's outside, Rolando can go for a omoplata. He can roll. He can get almost plot on me. I have to understand that he can count me like that. If my leg is between his legs, he can go for for the sankaku or the leg entanglement here. Like just put your hip on the floor. Right? And then he goes 
Good disposition, okay? He's not like Fly Caesar because it's illegal, but he can apply the position as I'm putting him down. You see? I have to understand that this can happen when I come up like that, okay? So the way we're gonna do it is like this. So I grab, pull the collar down. My right leg goes first. And I have the intention of bringing it to the right. Kind of like I'm doing an arm bar. Like this. Now I'll be like here. Control, push, sit up. Now I have the, uh, the single leg. Feed the lapel, oh, okay, grab the collar. Keep holding both hands on the collar as you're grabbing a baseball bat. Place her head on the forehead, uh, the forehead, sorry, on the, on the shoulder. Wipe her legs, and then come on. So now to take him down, okay? Let's keep his leg between your legs, okay? I'll take him down, and as I take him down, I drop my heels on the floor, okay? And now, once I do that, I keep my head on, on his shoulder, push him, and now I apply my shoulder on his hip. Okay, so now it's harder for Rolando to turn. If I don't put pressure on the shoulder, he's gonna turtle. You see, he takes this side off the mat. Try to turtle. Okay, now from here, I take the bottom hand out, under hook, and start getting the side smash. I can even staple the leg here, and now I'm ready to start pressing his arm. Okay? Yeah? That's the first guard pull. Control, forehead to forehead. Don't pull guard straight, because then he's gonna pass the guard, you see? Always pull towards the side. You see how you staple the leg? Just so he doesn't scissor his legs and try to come up, okay? Pressure on the hip, and then stay. Try to turn Now, I'm slowing him down, and ready to start press. Okay? Understand? So, yes. Uh, why do you like the near side collar more on the single? Uh, the near side, right? Yeah, because I feel, when I grab this one, okay, I feel like when I, when I come up, start posturing up, I feel like he can posture up more and put a lot of weight on on the leg on, over my arm. But when I grab here, I feel when you try to extend the leg, you're gonna feel that by doing this. You feel like it's less effort, okay? It's effortless for me here. If my opponent try to stand up, force him to put the hand on the floor. Just because of that, so I feel like it's less uh, effort, like when I effortless, right? When I grab on the same side collar. Okay. But you can grab the other side too. Sometimes the collar is like it's like this, you know. So you don't have the side, so just hold the other one. Okay. Yes. So are you keeping your uh, forehead on his shoulder when you get into the side smash, or do you go to the mat? Side smash uh, first. As soon as I put it down, I put it on the shoulder, right? So I, first, I want my shoulder on his hip. And then secondly, when I change my head, because I have to put my head on the side of his head, right? I'm gonna put my hips. So from the shoulder on the hip, I go to the hip on the shoulder. And now my head go here, okay? Yes, my head goes right on the side of his head. And if I can push his, his head to the side like this to keep his neck like that, so it's better for me. Okay? So don't put your head on the floor, but far from the guy. Okay? So make sure you connect and tilt a little bit his head. Yeah. Well, when you're in the side smash, you like to have the hand on the, the your grip on the belt, or do you reach on the head? Both ways are great. Okay? So it really depends the size of my opponent. Some guys are very tall. Right, if I'm fighting someone with long, long body, <laughs> like this guy, right, like, uh, Yannick. So when I get here, 
Right? Sometimes I feel like he's really tall, so I keep on the hip. Right? Mm. But if I feel like the guy's just a little bit shorter, I can go here. But honestly, I prefer on the hip. Okay? Because I feel I can have better control of him. Okay? Plus, if he tried to, for some reason, when I get here, he tried to underhook my, my arm. Okay? You see, I keep the grip here. And when I pass, his arm is strapped. Try to turtle. He can turtle, see? It's not all the time that you can, you just think about getting this, right? And let's say he underhooked my arm, okay? So now I smash his elbow against his body. So I close his space. And then I grab the belt or the pants. Okay, and then I keep like this. I prefer this, okay? But if you like to grab it there, it's fine too, no problem. Alright, okay, one, two, three.